Hey guys, this is VJ Benical at VJ's Tennis, where it is all things tennis, and I'm going to be doing my first ever string review on VJ's Tennis YouTube channel. Now, before I go on sharing you all the details, I'm not sponsored by whatever strings that I review, I don't have any kickbacks, I don't get paid, I just do this all by myself and just thought I'd let you know. FYI. Now, the string that I'm going to be reviewing in this video is the one and only Babalat RPM Hurricane. Now, I have play tested this and I'll obviously will go through the details towards the end of this video. This string is available only in a yellow color. It is an eight-sided monofilament copolyester string and it is available in 1.20 1.25, 1.30, and lastly, 1.35 millimeters. 1.35. Um, so that's the diameter or, or the thickness or gauge of the string. Now, if you don't really know what gauges are or what they mean, you can definitely check the video on somewhere around here. Uh, you may have to search this yourself. Just look at strings in my channel. So that's what it's called. Strings video or strings tutorial video. It should be one of those. So I'm going to test this string out. I'm going to go on court and I'm going to play with it and let you guys know my feedback. So let's hit it. Whoop! guys I am back and I am ready because I'm about to review the beautiful Babylon RPM Hurricane now I mean come on guys doesn't it look nice I mean with the yellow strings you know blue look anyway um, so I'm gonna give you my thoughts now also one detail I forgot to add is I'm using a Yonix E-Zone 100 300 grams racket and this is a 2020 model so also is the 1690 pattern, so for to let you know that. Now, the positives that I found when uh, hitting with this, um, it had really great feel when striking the ball, like it was a good uh, crisp connection, um, great control and feel, uh, works well on slices and has a biting effect, which basically helps keeping the ball low and skid, which... I personally like that. Most players will know that I love to slice. And, um, yeah, I, I, I love my slices. I, I, can't, I can't deny that. So, um, when trying to hit the ball deeper, it does keep it in uh, majority of the shots. Like, I'm talking 80% of my shots was, like, going in, no matter how hard I was trying to hit it long in, in some aspects. And it does have good height and trajectory. Well, trajectory is how I say it. 
trajectory. Okay. Um, good on serves. Uh, really good uh, slicers in there as well. Um, the stiffness is kind of interests me because mostly polyesters, they are tend to be known as stiffer strings. But it's not too stiff and it's not too soft either. So it is kind of weird, but I do like that. Um, and in terms of the price of this string, um, you can even get it between $150 to about $200 or $220 in some stores online. Um, but to be honest with you, I think for the quality that it gives and presents, it's a pretty good uh, price to pay for the string, I have to say. It does really well when holding um, under pressure, especially when I'm trying to go on the run to get the balls back or trying to slice it back um, or you're really under panic mode. Uh, it really is, the stability is actually really nice. Um, I would rate the stability around about 7.5, 8 out of 10. So strings have a very good stability effect. And... Uh, it does really work well on returning your biggest serves because I know my mate Sean, um, who I had a hit with in one of those videos, and he has a massive serve, and I was surprised I was able to get the serves back into play. Um, normally he targets my back end, and he should obviously know that. Um, and the way how I was able to return and the stability of it is something I don't feel for a long time. So... Uh, hitting against returning big serves with the string, pretty good if you can use your technique well. And um, lastly, depth control, excellent. And you can control it short, you can control it long, wide. Um, it's really, really great, honestly. Uh, that's probably the last, last positive that I've got on that string. Now, going to the negatives. Now, of course, this is normal. My first point would be when you're hitting in the middle or you don't have enough space, uh, it is very hard to control, but of course, that's a normal thing. Um, the second point is, when you're mishitting, now, as I say, polyester strings are pretty stiff, but <laughs> if you're going to mishit it from here or there or somewhere around this area, you're going to definitely feel it, and your arm's going to feel like you're... It's just jarry. It's just like... So, yeah, it doesn't really feel nice at all. Um, so you will feel it. But hitting in the center, you'll have no problems. The third point, um, and this is an instinct thing. Uh, I felt like maybe the tension maintenance kind of dropped a little bit. Um, but it's a minor issue. Uh, it's just that the fact that I was hitting for the first hour and it played amazingly. Then took a break. Uh, for maybe 10, 15 minutes or so, and then I started hitting back again, and it kind of just lost that little bit of touch but st of the tension, but still, um, it's a minor issue. It's not that major. And the disappointing and the last point of my negatives for this string, um, Babalat claims it's to be eight-sided, but, I mean, do you kind of guys see it's eight-sided, though? I mean, because... I feel it a tiny bit when I was stringing my racket, but it doesn't feel eight-sided, and that kind of is a little bit of a, uh, a downside uh, from the Babalat marketing aspects. Um, you can see it, like, I can see it, there's some edges on the, on the uh, string, or the diameter of the string, but it still feels too rounded, and it does say it's a spin effect, but... That was also the other thing, like, the slices um, was really good, however, I wasn't getting much topspin as I felt like I was getting, and maybe I was hitting with average or deadish balls, but still, topspin, yeah, I didn't really feel like it was like a, a vocal cyclone or a Yonix Polytour spin, it wasn't really feeling like that, and most players know that I love spin, and um, I love to spin it, and I do like to rip it, but... Um, but yeah, that's that's the major issue. Uh, they claim to be eight-sided, but it just feels too round. So, anyway, that is the end of my review of the Babalat RPM Hurricane. Now, if you did enjoy this video, why don't you smash that like button, leave a comment down below, 
And uh, if you do like more videos with string reviews, definitely let me know in the comments or even feel free to message me. Um, and yeah, that's all I got for you. So uh, take care, have a good one, God bless you all, and thanks for supporting BJ's Tennis. Bye bye, and see you in the next one.